Hello, class. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Hello, Julio. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, uh, teacher. Uh, Ivan, good evening. Hello. Watching the news? Yeah. Can I am again? Yes. Watching the news? What channel are you watching? All right. Okay, good. Let's see how. Hello, Paola and Francisco. Hello, guys. Uh, welcome and joining Catherine. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Francisco. Great to hear you. Uh, Catherine is connected already. There you are, Ivan. Thank you for turning the camera on. That's great. All right, guys. How how did you have your day? How did you have it this Thursday? This is the last class, all right, of the week. The last class of the week. Good. Anything interesting? No? Normal, normal day at work? My day is oh. not as normal. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you did you have a normal normal day? You said Ivan. Okay, great. Because today will be my day off, but oh. I had to work uh, emergency emergency deciding uh, our sick children and bringing them food. Ah, all right. Okay. Hey, that's great. That's great. Yes. Good. Yes, I, I like my day okay perfect let's see uh there is carla carla rene hello carla welcome good evening teacher everybody good evening she said to you all right thank you carla okay guys good uh today we have the last class of the week uh let's see uh, plans for plans for the weekend friday any plans any any, I don't know, any projection about what you're going to do? All right, no? No plans for Friday? Maybe Saturday, Sunday? No plans? Okay, maybe you work. Maybe you work. Okay, good. All right, guys, I welcome everyone. Ah, Melissa is there. All right. Hello, Melissa and Jorge. Hello, guys. All right. Take a moment. The problem. It's already 8. 8 p.m. in two minutes. Okay. I'm joining. There she is, uh, Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Welcome as well. Great seeing you. Okay, guys. Uh, let's begin with our last class of the week. Let me make the projection about the computer. All right. Can you confirm that you see it? Yes. You you see the computer, the projection? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes All right. yeah. Okay, cool. No issues. No issues at the moment. Okay. Uh, let me open your class. Uh, your class is already in in the Google Drive, so you can check it out, download it, and have it for reviewing. Okay, welcome class number eight, pre advanced model one. Your model now is the class about. This is pretty similar but with some differences in this new topic because we are going to practice a little bit with indirect requests but this opportunity is with or plus plus the infinitives all right we were practicing request with with if uh, do you remember what else what else uh, were we studying and practicing in the previous classes about indirect requests with if, 
What else? Remember? Anybody? With uh huh. WH question. Ah, last night, right? With WH, correct. WH questions with uh, with the ing. All right, with the ing um, uh, indirect question. We were practicing morals. We have seen uh, the difference between direct and indirect, etc. All right. Uh, this sentence says, Kathy bring some cans of soda to the party. Uh, direct or indirect? This one. Direct. Is a direct, correct. No morals, no nothing. Is directly to the second person. That's it. All right. With these sentences, we have, or we can use, affirmative sentences. For example, uh, do you see the cans, the cans of soda? Yes. Three yeah. sodas. Uh -huh. they, they, they are, three. They are four. Four cans of soda. Yeah. Right. We are going to use the previous example. The previous example is, Kathy, bring some cans of soda to the party. And as you said, Carla, I ah, is direct or direct. Yes. Uh, hello, Alejandra, teacher, I'm still working. Oh, I'm still working at this time. Okay, but no problem. That's fine. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, good. Let's see. Next, the affirmative is this way. Can you read the parts, guys? Can you read the parts in the affirmative? Moral. Uh -huh. The moral. Plus. Last. Subject. All right. Next. Plus. Verb. Mm -hmm. Plus. Object. Plus. Infinity. Plus. Complement. All right, okay, thank you, Carla. Check, the difference is that in this opportunity, you're gonna use infinity. Who remembers what is an infinity verb? What's infinity? Who remembers? What's that? Ideas? Many. M many. Uh, yes. Mm, oh, many. No. Infinitive. Infinitive is to play, to take, to uh, read, for example. To, to, to. The word to plus the base form of the verb is infinite. Okay. And it goes like this. Uh, can you read it, Ivan? The parts, but in the sentence. What is the model? Ivan, can you read them? Yes, yes. Can plus you plus right. tell plus Kathy. Who is Kathy? Who is Kathy? It's a person who is going to receive the message. Okay. In this part, Kathy is the person who receives the message about the sentence. Plus to bring. To bring, to bring some what is to what bring. is to bring what infinity. is infinity infinity the infinity check to yeah, yeah, bring yeah. because in the in the direct it says Kathy bring some bring cans some of soda to the party. the party do you see an infinitive in the sentence in the direct sentence do you see the infinitive in this one some cans where, where, is, where is the infinitive in the first sentence? Where is it? Check, check. Again, no, so, no so. infinitive. No, no infinitive. The infinitive is? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To? To bring. To bring. bring. And that's bring. it. Yeah. Check. No infinitive. Kathy, bring some cans of soda to the party. Check. I got it, it I got it. Is direct. 
no infinitive. The infinitive is in the indirect brain. In the indirect question. Yes. To bring some some gang so soda, please. Please. All right. Okay. Good. Questions at, at this part? Questions? Question, question. Remember, the infinitive is in the indirect question. No, in the direct. That's it. All right. Let's continue with the next part. Uh, please, uh, la, 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 Carl, uh, Sophia, please, can you read the indication in this one? Transform. Transform the next direct request to into indirect requests using infinitive verbs. Using infinitive verbs. Okay. Sometimes you can have one, two, or three options. Okay. What is the direct request? Can you read it, Sophia? The direct request. Rob. Please buy ice cream for the kids. Rob, please buy ice cream uh, for the kids. Please. At the end. The indirect. How can you transform it? Yes. What is the indirect question in, in this part? Ideas? Uh huh. Can you tell Rob? Okay, can you? It's pretty similar from the exercises from yesterday, yes. Can you tell Rob? Uh -huh. To buy? To buy high school. Ah, the kids. Okay, to buy, right? To buy ice cream for the kids. All right, where is the infinitive? The infinitive is in to buy. buy, correct. And that's it, no more, no more. Another option instead of to buy, is there any other option for the direct question? Is there any other, any other verb that you can use? instead of to buy. Bring? Ah, uh, bring, okay, but now make the sentence complete, complete. Can you tell Rob to bring ice cream for the kids? All right, very good, that's it, that's it. Can you tell Rob to bring? bring. Correct ice cream for the kids and at the end the question mark because it's a question right but indirect okay check this is the infinitive with the indirect questions easy right kind of easy not difficult pretty easy okay let's continue with with the next part Ah, but teacher, how can I make negative sentences with indirect questions? Do we have negative? Yes or no? What do you say? Negatives on do we have with the indirect? Yes or no? Hello? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, we can make negative I guess, sentences. Yes, yes. As, as we use in the simple present, etc. Let's see, the negative, what is the sentence in the direct? Can you read it? Kathy, don't bring tequila to the party. Ah, uh, when you have a party, for example, hey, uh, uh, I don't know, your sister, your brother, hey, Rob, don't bring, don't bring your friends to the party. Don't buy soda. Don't go at the last moment to the store, etc. Check. This is the negative. The structure for the negative goes like this. 
All right, can you read it? Moral plus the subject plus plus verb uh -huh. plus object plus not not in plus complement. Uh -huh. Okay, infinitive and complement. Let's see an example. The example is can you you can read it again. Tell Patty, Patty, not to bring tequila for the party. That's it. The only thing that you need to do is adding not before before the infinitive. Mm -hmm. And you have the negative sentence with the indirect question. Easy, right? It's pretty simple. You just Right, not before the infinity. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else. Simple. Let's see. Right. Uh, in this part, we are going to review the indirect request with, with the word if and with the word Weather. That is a word. weather. Weather. We have two options. What's the difference? When do we use if? Can you read it, guys? Can you read it? If represent the condition. Represent. All right. Go ahead, Carl. Okay. Yeah. If represent a condition or when you have several choices. Good, thank you. If represents a condition or when you have several choices. We are gonna check some examples about this. And the word weather, when to use the word weather. Weather refers to first to two possible Alternative. alternative or options only two remember only two but with if you can have a condition or more than two options for the answer and that is the difference and besides that if is like informal speaking and whether is for formal formal speaking or formal writing and that is the difference. Let's check. Yes, no questions. Yes, no question. We have in this one. Can you read it, Eduardo, please? Okay. Freddy, are you at home? All right. Imagine I am Freddy. Okay. Uh, and I respond. No, sorry. I am not at home in this moment. And this is a yes, no question for me. Can you transform it in into in the red question? Using if or whether. Let's check. It would be like this. Can you read it, guys? Would you? Would you ask Freddy if he is at home? Check. In the first place, we have if because is the con that is the condition. Hey, would you ask Freddy if he is at home in this moment? And this is the example. This is an indirect question with if. What is the condition, guys? What's the condition? If. Uh -huh. If Freddy is at home or if Freddy is not at home. Okay. Let's see. Next. Can you read it, uh, please, uh, Julio? Rick, do you have another computer? Thank you. Hey, Rick, by chance, by any chance, do you have another computer? Yes, no question. Indirect, 
Let's see. Um, could you ask Freddy whether or not he has another computer? Okay. What about if you translate this? What is the meaning of this indirect question using weather? What would be what it would be the translation of this? Otro compu, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but could what does it mean could? Puedes. Uh, podrías podrías podría, preguntarle right? a Freddy uh -huh. podrías preguntarle a Freddy si si, si tiene, tiene o no otra computadora yes si tiene weather means like a condition but in this case is like more formal remember weather is for for being formal and if is like colloquial or normal speaking in English but with a difference when you use whether or not ah, puedes preguntarle a Freddy si tiene o no otra computador and that is the meaning whether or not he has another computer okay so that is the thing with with if and whether we are gonna practice don't worry next uh, let's see these ones are links that we are gonna check not all of them but at, at least three or two because they have information about this about in the request with if and whether let's review this one we started with this one last night. Do you remember the table? Yes. Remember the this website from last night? This is the one from last night. That is the number one. Number two, I'm going to open it. Let's check. Ah, you recognize? Hey, guys. You can find information in the dictionary, in this one. The one that we use every night, sometimes. Okay, let's check. Please uh, help me with the reading, this opportunity. Uh, -da 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 -da. Catherine, Catherine, can you, can you participate? Can you read? Yes, you have microphone. Kathy? Yes. All right, perfect. Let's see. You can begin. If? If or whether. If or whether. If okay. and whether. Whether. Whether or whether. Uh, whether or whether. Aha, good question because that is pronunciation. Let's oh, check it out oh, so you yeah. can make sure. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Weather. Huh? Weather. Weather. Repeat it. Weather. Weather. Weather, like like weather. weather. How is the weather in your country, right? It's the same, I guess. It's the same. Check. Weather. Weather. And the other with the letter A. Pronunciation is weather. Weather. Pretty much the same, but the grammar is different. It has letter mm -hmm. A. Uh, only the letter A is a different. No. All right. Um, okay, continue. We can use we can use is or weather to report indirect yes, no questions and questions with or if is more common than weather. Okay, first point. If is more common than weather. So pretty much we can use if. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, help me, uh, Jorge, your turn. Call the ba ba bakeries. bakeries around town and find out if any of them sell um, rice, rice there. 
Raspberry. Raspberry pies. Pies. Okay, it's talking about bakery. Okay, but this is not in direct question. This is only one example. The next example is? Continue. I ran Peter from the station and they asked if I could drop in to see him before going to back or if he meet me. Okay. The two examples are for pointing out the condition. That's it. But the important part is in this place. Let's see. Uh, we, we often prefer weather in more, guys, in more formal contexts. Formal, formal, context. formal, formal context. Check. For example, in a meeting, uh, when you type a letter, when you write an email to someone, all right, like your boss or a manager, etc. In formal context. Okay, next, eh, ta -da -da -da. Eduardo, please, Eduardo Jose. Example. The teachers will be asking whether they will recommend the book to their classes. All right, what is the translation of this using weather? What's the translation? Uh, the teacher. The profesor, the profesor preguntaría si ellos recomendarían el libro para sus clases. Ah, okay. The teachers will be asked, ah, se les va a preguntar o se les preguntará a los teachers si recomendarían el libro to their classes, a sus clases. What does it mean weather? ¿Qué significa weather in this, in this part? Whether they would sí. recommend, si recomiendan or no, right? What are the options? ¿Cuáles son las opciones? One, recommend the book. Option num number two, don't recommend the book. Option number three, what can it be? Option number three, because weather is for several options, more than two. Uh huh. Recommend. No recommend. Uh -huh. Maybe add another book. Ah, okay, good. Maybe add another book, another option. All right, okay, very good. So we can, in the context, weather can mean different things, talking about options, optional things, uh, depending on the sentence, of course. All right, let's see. Uh, from a business meeting. Can you read that example, please, uh, Francisco? Where it says John. Yes, teacher. John read a letter uh, that he written and the board discussed whether it should be mailed. All right. Translation, guys, can you help me out? Why do I make you translate it? Porque lo hago traducir a veces un poco. So you can get the message in the sentence, all right? John, read a letter. Mm -hmm. Ideas? John leyó una carta uh -huh. que él había escrito. Correct. Ah, past, past what? Past participle, right? Uh -huh. Que había escrito. Y... And know. the board, the board means like the group, oh. I guess. Uh -huh. mm. And the group, y el grupo discutió, si, esta podría enviarse a correo. Ah, uh, like that. Okay, you are very close. Very good. Ah, que el grupo discutió, si, debe, or debería. Remember that should is for possibility. Should I continue? Debería continuar with, with the class? Yes, you should. Possibility. It should be mailed. Si debería ser enviada por. 
por correo. Yes. Ok. All right. Options. Can be mailed. Cannot be mailed. Maybe make another meeting, etc. You can have more options. Ok. Uh, continue. Continue, please. Uh, la, la, la. Luis. Luis Eduardo. Your turn. Ok. We, pre we prefer where, with, or when there is more than one alternative in the indirect question. Oh, okay. We prefer. Let's repeat prefer. Prefer. Pronunciation is prefer. We prefer whether with or when there is more than one alternative in the indirect question. One, one more. Example? Yes, example, please. After the election, election, we ask it where the party show change the lens, the policies, or what? Okay. After the election, we asked whether the parties, the political parties, should change their leaders. Option one, change their leaders. That is option one. Option two, change. Yes? Their policies. Change their policies. Correct. Or what is the option three that you, that you have? Or both. Correct. Or change both. So we have option one, option, oops, sorry. Option one, option two, and option three, using weather. And that is how you use weather. Okay. Uh, questions uh, at the moment? Questions? Any doubt? Sure. For example, in, in the example with the books, and the teachers? Uh, ah, the previous one. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Let me find it. Ah, okay, this one. Yes. In, in that example, uh, it cannot be the two options or both options. Um. Okay. The teachers will be asked whether they would recommend the book to their classes. Or you, you can add more context. You mean? You you mean maybe add more options to the sentence? Uh, Francisco, Eduardo, sorry, Eduardo. You mean we can we have more options in the sentence? Yeah, we cannot have the both options like recommend or not recommend. Um. That depends on the context of your conversation. That depends. Remember that in English, the conversation, what you're talking about, sometimes can make the difference. In this example, the teacher will be asked whether they would recommend the book to their classes. You can continue adding more options if you want. I uh, will recommend the book to their classes or uh, get or get them get them in the campus library library for example let's see how many options do you see in this sentence in new sentence how many options three uh yeah. let's see they would re recommend the book is number one Recommend the book is number one. And number two? Mm, don't recommend the book. Uh, in Depending on the context, yes. Because if the book is bad, you wouldn't recommend it, of course. Okay? In a context, it's option two. Option three? Get the yes. books. In the campus library. In the campus library. Okay, if the books are okay, ah, yeah, the books are absolutely great. I need to read them. That would be option number three. All right? So with weather, we always need to have more than two options. Uh, pretty much two options only. 
two options or more. Two okay. or more. All right? Okay. Two or more, yes. Uh, I see the chat. I'm, uh, interview went out. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, remember, two options or more. That's why weather is, is used. Uh, from, let's see, continuing, continuing. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, this one, this paragraph, please, uh, next reader, Carla, Carla, please. To express an alternative, we can use or not with, if, and whether. With whether, we can use or not immediately after whether or in an position. With if, we use or not in the end position only. Oh, okay, it's talking about the position with uh, with the clause if and with the clause whether. The be the best way to check this is with examples. Let's check. Um, number one. Let's see, uh, Ivan. Example one. Yes, I call. I call Bill to find out whether or not. He really did go to Afghanistan. Okay, thank you. Where is the position of or not before weather or after weather? What is the position? After weather. After weather is clear. It's pre pretty clear. You place it after weather. To make it, to make it, uh, we are checking uh, in this part to make. To make, for example, let me find it. Oh, oh, I lost it. It's in the previous. To make it negative. negative. When you see not, that is negative. Is negative. Correct. Next example. I called. I called Bill to find out whether he really did go to Afghanistan or not. Ah, le llamé a Bill para para qué? To find out. What is find out? Uh -huh. Para averiguar. Averiguar, querer saber algo, etc. Le llamé a Bill para averiguar si él realmente fue, did go, a Afghanistan o, o si no. O no. O no, fue. All right. Usted puede decir o no, o no fue. Because the verb is go. Aquí en el, en el context puede, ah, de si fue o no fue. But check, sometimes the position is possible at the end. Here it says, blah, blah, blah. You can place it after weather or at the end of the sentence. That's it. Next, uh, number three. I called Bill to find out if he really did go to Afghanistan or not. Or not. Or not. Okay, you can use if. You can use if, of course. But with if, it goes at the end. Con if va al final. Always. Let's see. Let's continue. We are going to check examples. Don't worry. We use whether and not. If before ah check before ah a to infinity to infi before is before to infinitive continue please often when we're referring to future plans or decisions okay example I was wondering. I was wondering whether to go for a swim. I was wondering whether to go for a swim. Okay. Okay. No, no negative. Check. No negative. This is affirmative. But where is the infinitive? The infinitive is after whether. To go. To go. Correct. To go is the infinitive. Okay. Can you make a sentence with I was wondering? Okay. Can you make a sentence with I was wondering? Any of you? One. 
one example only. Any? Mm -hmm. follow, follow the example in this one. I was wondering whether to go for a swim. Any example? I was wondering whether to watch a movie. Whether to watch a movie. Okay, that's it. After whether, you use the infinitive. To watch, to play, to see, uh, to go, etc., etc., etc. Let's see. Uh, please, can you read it, uh, tarara, Francisco? This part. Yes, teacher. This one. Some, some financial decisions, such as planning a pension, need to be taken as early as possible. Others, such as whether to move house, can probably only be made much later. 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 Okay, later. All right, check, such as whether, whether move, no, right? Whether move, no, it would be incorrect. Whether to move, to because move. it's infinite. It is the infinitive, but the infinitive is to separate, to separate two words, all right? You cannot have two verbs, for example, together, or the word whether, and the base form of move. It is to separate, to move. That is the infinitive. Okay, uh, whether not, if, we use whether and not, if, after, after what? Prepositions. After prepositions. Example, later. later I argue with the doctor about whether I had hit my head since I couldn't remember feeling it. Okay, you can use whether, but when you use a prepositions, the prepositions is about before. It's yeah, it's about, but it goes before before weather. Ah, más tarde discutí con el doctor acerca de si me había golpeado la cabeza desde que no podía recordar sentirlo, right? It's talking about the pain. Está hablando del dolor ahí. Okay, but the incorrect is later I argue with the doctor about if I have hit my head. We don't use if in this one because we are using whether with with a preposition. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, this one, we are not going to touch this because the class was about if uh, with the infinitives and the part with if and whether. But we are going to check more examples. We are going to make uh, sentences. All right. This is in the dictionary. Check. Next link. What is the next link? Next next link is this one. Let me see if we can have. All right. Indirect questions. That is the topic. Asking questions. Practice with the exercises. Okay, number one, indirect questions. Indirect questions are used to ask for information politely. You know that already. Let's see a couple of examples. Example number one. Can you tell me where Dr. Holt's surgery is? Okay, good. Number two. Can you tell me if the if this bus goes to the, the center? All right, the center goes to the center. Okay, very good. Those are indirect questions. Let's check number two, characteristics. Okay, you know the characteristics. For example, the phrases that you can use. Example, 
the general. Uh -huh. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? You can use. I was wondering. I was wondering. I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Uh, hey, this one is is a new one, right? Yeah. It's a new one. Uh, how do I say? Me gustaría saber si tienen pasteles de chocolate in English. Uh huh? I'd like to know if you have um, cakes. cakes. I like to know if you have if you have chocolate cakes. Cakes. Correct. Okay. Using if. Usando if. I'd like to know. Very polite. Me gustaría saber. Yes. Uh, next. Next expression you can use. Do, you, Do know? you know? Do you know, right? Okay, this is kind of normal. Next. Do you have any idea? Ah, this is a new option for you. You can ask in their questions with this one. Do you know any idea if I can find uh, Samsung cell phones in this store, for example? Or... Do you happen to know? Do you happen to, ah this is new one for you as well. Do you happen to know? Uh, do you happen to know is examples? You have any idea? What is the meaning? Do you happen to know? Uh, idea? 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 Do you happen? Do you happen to know? Uh no, do you happen to por know? Casualidad? Is, Ah, by any chance. Yes, it's similar if you say uh, by by any chance, por casualidad, right? By any chance. Yes, that is the one. Esa es. Por casualidad, yes. Okay. In the questions, do not follow, blah, blah, blah. Okay, check. Yesterday, we were practicing with these ones. The right question. Where is Mary? Where is Mary? Indirect? Do you have any oh, idea, idea where Mary is? Ah, uh, remember? Yeah. Position of the verb to be at the end because he's indirect. And next example with a simple present. Uh, Carla? What time does the film start? Indirect? Do you happen to know what time the film starts? Okay. It starts with the letter S. Why with the letter S? Why? Uh -huh. Because it's the, the third person. It, In this case, it. Uh, it. I don't, I don't see it. What does it represent? In the sentence. ¿Qué representa it en la sentence? An indirect. Um, ¿A dónde sorry. puede ver it? Where do you the see field? It? The field, correct. Good answer. That that's the one. The film. That is it. Eso es it. Good. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Check. You have more more examples in this website as well. You can practice with them. And the exercise. Hey teacher, and the exercises. Where are they? Let's see. Would you tell me if this place is far, blah, 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 the same example, the same instructor, etc. Check direct question. And you have the indirect question next to it. Let's see. Uh, exercises, all right. You have a structure, check. Question word, subject, main verb. With the question word, example, do you know what John is doing? Do you know what John is doing at this moment? He doesn't answer his phone. Example uh, with the indirect. Can you tell me where John lives? Can you tell me where John lives? Okay, pretty good. Ah, check what we are studying. If, whether, plus, subject. subject. Plus main verb. verb, main verb, yes. 
Uh, for example, do you know? We need our passport. Yeah, if you're going to travel, yes, you will need them. Next. Would you mind telling me whether it's raining? Outside. Outside is a word. Okay, check. Would you mind? Why Why? Uh, would you mind? Por qué would you mind in this one? Why? Do you Maybe. remember? Uh -huh. Maybe the person is inside and the other person entered to the same place. Um, okay, good, good idea. But the principal reason is? Uh -huh. Remember? Yes, with ING. When you use, uh, do you it's mind? Jerome. Yeah, it's Jerome, correct. Uh, would you mind, uh, etc. ING. After this expression, is, the verb has ING. Correct, it's a Jerome. Okay. And the the exercises, don't we have exercises in this part? I remember that I saw exercises in this part. Let me find them. Uh, 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 exercises, where are you? Ah, here it is, at the beginning. Okay, I'm going to close this. All right, complete. I'm translating, complete the phrase. Okay, the phrase is in Spanish. Okay, I know, but the exercise is basic, the, the same. Okay. Tienes idea de dónde están mis zapatos? Indirect. Where my shoes are. Okay, from the beginning to complete the idea. Do you have any idea where my shoes are? Where my shoes are? Guys, is that, do you think that's correct or not? Yes, I agree. You agree? Okay. Yeah. Does anybody disagree with this? Okay, only one agree. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see. Let's try it out. Oh, correct. That is the correct answer. Pretty good. Good, good, good. Okay, let's see. Anna Ivania. Anna Ivania. Hey. Yes, what, teacher. What happened? Uh, okay, I'm going to close it. Okay, do the next one, please. Can you do it? Okay. Read it, no problem. Uh... Complete the phrase. Okay, read, okay. read this one. Doesn't matter okay. that. It's in Spain. Uh, uh -huh. Do you have uh, uh okay porque eso ya sabes cómo quitar esta manchadina. Um do you happen to know uh, uh, how do you say quitar? <laughs> ah quitar. We have two options. Okay, but check what do we talk about? Do we talk about computing? Do we talk about paper and eraser? Or about what? Eh, eh, uh, quitar esta, esta mancha de oh, this Weinstein. Ah, okay, correct. Yes. Mancha? Weinstein. Okay, stain, okay. Oh. stain, 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 correct. Yeah. Can I remove? Ah, correct. Remove, remove is the remove. Uh -huh. Okay, do you happen? Do you happen to know? Uh, uh, how, uh, how? Uh, remove, removing, removing, ing, okay, removing this wine stain. wine stain, let's check it, oh, no, not how correct, I can remove, okay, ah, okay, it was, era, how, puedo, me fal puedo, Ajá. Why? ¿Por qué? Aquí está. ¿Cómo? Puedo. How? El... Puedo. I can. I can. Correct. That's okay. it. Okay, okay, but you are learning. That's what it matters. Okay, good. Okay. Next, next. 
Um, Eduardo Jose, maybe. The next one. Hmm? You can like, read it. Me gustaría saber dónde trabaja ella ahora. All right. Indirect. I'd like to know where she works now. Where she works now. Now. Okay. Let's check it out. All right. Pretty good. Excellent. That's it. Correct. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Julio. Julio. The next one. The last one. Because of the time. Julio. Me preguntaba por qué te pusiste a dieta. Hey, really? Okay. <laughs> okay, I good. Was, I was wondering why the uh did you uh did you go on a diet? Okay, the why why you you went on, on a diet? You went on a diet. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, pretty good. That's it. That is the answer. Okay, guys. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, good. Uh, you have this website. You can continue practicing with the rest of the exercises. Plus, these two more links that have more information about this topic. If and whether. Okay. Uh, please practice uh, with, with that so you can, when you have conversations, you can use indirect requests with anyone, any person. Okay, uh, let's see. Guys, uh, last class of the, of the week. Thank you for connecting, participating. Very good. And see you next week. Please remember, complete the section number three in the midterm exam for this week all right see you next week guys enjoy your weekend your friday saturday and sunday and have a good night as thank well. you. okay teacher happy okay. weekend thank you happy you, weekend, teacher guys. happy you weekend next. everyone thank bye. you so much happy weekend everyone thank you bye bye take care